Hi, welcome to my channel Quick View Enthusiast. I am Abhishek and today I will share my learning about Quick View. In this learning I will give you an information about how we make the selections in Quick View and uh, what is the document and its properties in Quick View. So let's get started. When you open your tool Quick View, you will get this start page. In this start page, you have this first section as getting started, where a couple of preloaded examples are present to give you the familiarity with the tool, like data visualization, executive dashboard, extensions, etc. So let's click on one of the sample dashboard and see uh, how powerful the tool is. Well, this executive dashboard is uh, a CFO dashboard uh, where information is present from the CFO perspective. So let's explore what is present in this dash dashboard. So you see this uh, KPI dashboard or the KPI tab is highlighted when we click on getting started button. KPI is key performance indicators. These are the indicators uh, about the health of the company and uh, these are the filters by which you can filter the information that is present here and here in this chart. So currently the active selection is 2011 as it is highlighted in green. So before I move ahead I want to give you a small information that uh, when you make a selection in click view like this as soon as you click on any of the filter it will be highlighted in green color where and it's unrelated or the value that is not related to the current selection will be highlighted in gray color and the information that is related to the current selection will be highlighted in white color like this months that are highlighted in white color but if I select any of the month now rest of the month will not be highlighted in white because they are not related to April they are the separate months. So this is important to know that active selections are highlighted in green. Selections that are not related to the active selection are highlighted in gray color and selections that are related to the active selection are highlighted in white color. And after making the selection, if you feel like that you have selected something wrong and want to go a step back, you can click on the back button presented here, which will take you a step back like this. So you see that it has removed the selection from April. But what if, if you have done multiple, say 15 or 20 different selection to reach to a conclusion and in the end you feel like they are not the right selections and you want to start over well in that case apart from hitting the back button again and again you can directly click on the clear button which will clear all the selections so you see that now everything is uh, free and not selected and uh, that's how the selection works in click view apart from selecting uh, the values from these filters that are present in year and in months row you can also select uh, directly from the chart also like this if I am just interested in March I'll just hit on March and you see that by default the March is selected and the rest of the KPIs are updated with the March information well uh, I think uh, that's uh, pretty much a basic coverage that I wanted to give about the selection. Uh, I will click on the clear. All right before I move ahead a small information that uh, if you see these tabs some of the tabs are highlighted with this green circle and a few of the tabs like uh, year analysis or inventory are not highlighted with any of the circle. Now what that means is uh, 
the tabs that are highlighted with this gr small green circle have something selected. So you see this uh, here the margin filter is basically selected and because of this selection the tab was highlighted with a small green circle. Okay, so let's move ahead uh, with the another section that I wanted to cover is the click view document. Click view document you can compare or you can consider a click view document as a Excel workbook. Now Excel workbook is a file that is saved in your computer and you can share that file with your colleagues or management and then they can see it. Similarly, uh, the document in Excel is a physical file that you can save into your system and then can share with your colleagues and management where they can review the file. Now this click view document has some properties and uh, I will give you a quick walkthrough about uh, commonly used properties uh, of the click view document. So to see the click view document properties you can click on settings button and hit on document properties. Also before I move ahead also uh, you have the option of uh, going by a shortcut to open the document properties window. The shortcut is control plus alt plus T. So you see that uh, it has various tabs and uh, each tab has its related properties. Now before I move ahead I will give you a quick background about why we actually need document properties win window and why it is important uh, to set the properties in starting whenever you are planning to develop a new dashboard. So if you have designed uh, a corporate dashboard or a senior management dashboard there is always a requirement to follow some kind of color coding. Uh, there is a requirement that uh, text should be aligned in a proper format and numbers should be in a proper format. Uh, which is as per the corporate policies and uh, directions are given with the uh, with the color coding about the RGB red green and blue to show the critical and healthy and average values that you want to show in a dashboard for critical indications. In that case instead of going into each and every object and uh, then setting its uh, properties you can set all of the properties in the starting and then utilize uh, all those properties in different components and quickly complete the dashboard. So for example uh, background color if you have a requirement of uh, having a background of a particular color you can any day select the required color and set it as a background for your document. Now that uh, color will not only change in one particular sheet but in all of the sheets and instead if you have a requirement of uh, uh, having a background image you can select it from here and uh, change the background of the entire document. Similarly, um, if you are creating a dashboard where you do not need all of uh, these tabs or you do not want to show these tabs and uh, want to hide it, uh, you have the option like hide tab row. You can click apply and you see that all of the tabs are given. So this is basically required in such situation where you just have one single tab uh, for the dashboard or the report. Well, let me just unselect it. So don't apply. Uh, after that, uh, uh, there is a property like tab row background. Uh, a tab row background is nothing but uh, a background for this tab row, the tab row that consist of various tabs. So if you want to see change this uh, gray background or uh, gray like background to some other background 
you can click here and uh, select it so if I select this color and click on apply you see that it is now changed and it is not changed only in this particular tab or for the, this particular tab but for all of the tabs so so this and uh, apart from that uh, a quick thing or a quick property is uh, a font property that we basically used to make it consistent uh, in the entire document where you can set the properties for list boxes charts etc etc and uh, for the text objects and buttons like the one i explained in the starting that uh, you always have the requirement of uh, having the having a particular font or a particular alignment or a style font style or the particular size you can set the size for list box and charts which are components uh, from here and if you just want to change it for the text objects and buttons you can also change it separately from here so this setting will not apply to a particular text box or a button but will all the text box and buttons that you will use in the dashboard in this way you don't have to uh, change in each and every text box or button but you can change it to all the text box and buttons in just one go after that we have a an interesting tab presentation uh, where you see the fields that are used in the document like uh, division expense actual budget so if you have the requirement for doing the alignment of these values that okay expense actual must be numeric and it should be number should be aligned right and text should be aligned left you can set it here or if you have any other requirement like making it center you can do it here or after that if you have a requirement like you that this will be a multi-line information and you want to wrap text you can wrap the text from here and change the multi-line so idea is basically to to select each and every field and make it consistent with the corporate policies so that when you are presenting the dashboard to the senior management they will not feel like that policies are not adhered while doing this uh, dashboard well uh, there are other so many properties that are present in this tab but because this is uh, a video for the beginners so i'm not covering in depth but giving you an idea about why we use document properties and uh, some of the commonly used uh, properties uh, in this video so I will conclude this video with all this information and I will encourage you to go ahead and uh, play around these different tabs and see what are the changes that you are seeing uh, by changing a particular property and uh, what results you are getting so good luck with that and thank you for viewing my video